Well, Baltimore's art scene continues to impress. Now you can see some of the best local artwork downtown at the Royal Sinesta Harbor Court Hotel. And we are joined live this morning by Crystal Mall. She is the artist behind the latest urban and landscapes exhibit on display down there this morning. Crystal, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> we, we were looking at each other. We, we both had so many questions. Yes. One of them is, what is your role in the exhibit? Tell us uh, about your artwork. Well, I am a local artist. I've been painting on the street corners of Baltimore for, geez, the last 30 years. I also own a gallery, which is just a few blocks away from the Royal Sinesta. So for over the last three years, I have been curating different exhibitions here. So we change them about every quarter of the year. Um, and this is a group exhibition of seven different artists, um, all of whom I have shown at my gallery down the street. Crystal, we're, uh, we're taking a look at the, the beautiful work that you have behind you. It looks like different homes throughout the city, uh, different areas in downtown. What, what is the theme for this uh, exhibit? So it is an urban and landscape theme. So it's actually paintings that were produced and photography that was produced in the city of Baltimore. And then also just our county area so some of it's you know north of the city so we mixed it up sometimes um, you know we always have a theme with this show and this time it was just a little of city and a little of the county now as an artist what is it that triggers you to decide you want to paint a particular piece I mean the world is your oyster you can do anything you want but why are you triggered anytime you see a particular uh, item um, well, when I first moved to Baltimore, which was about 30 years ago, I was really drawn to the street scenes, um, especially like in Federal Hill and South Baltimore. So I started painting on location. So what draws me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to a scene is really when a street scene is hit with a lot of light and shadow, and um, then I go and investigate how to make that scene into a good composition. And I'm, I'm referred to as a plein air artist. I do all my painting on location. So I go back to a scene two to 15 times in order to finish a, a particular painting. I work at the same time of day every day, so I capture the same light. So for me, it's really structure, light, um, and those street scenes that draw me to the things that I personally paint. Uh, Crystal, how long will people be able to check out this exhibit uh, and what are the details? Well, it's open to the public free day in and day out, really, whenever the, the hotel's open, which is, of course, 24-7. So um, the show we just opened this past Tuesday or Wednesday, but it will be on display for the next three months. Um, and after that time, we're going to have another, ha another show. And um, again, the Rural Sinesta puts on a lovely um, opening when we when we change the shows every time so we'll have another reception um, so you and you know all of these pieces are for sale um, if anybody is interested they contact me through my gallery um, but you know it's always a great place to come and watch okay well, Crystal, see thank you work. thank you so much for joining us we appreciate your artwork and we'll come down and see it Thank you so much. All right, Crystal Mall down at the Royal Sinesta, just across from the Light Street Pavilion on Light Street downtown.